my mom and you're the most adulty adult I know. Can you give me some advice and some info on what adulting actually means to you? Okay, adulting is about real life. It's the, it's the day when you really have to do things for yourself. In your case, it's going to be the day when you have to make your own food. Okay, so talking about like being a young woman, and you're a young woman still, <laughs> and I'm a young woman, what do you think, you know, being that you have so much experience, is the most important thing that a young woman should do to prepare herself for the world and for life as she gets older? I think the number one thing is to uh, realize that life is going to require that any young woman, person actually, has a lot of strength and grit to get through life. Um, and I don't think that's appreciated enough that the stronger you make a girl, child, person, uh, the better off and the easier it is going to be for them in life. Like I can recall when I was really young, you were always taking me to the office and stuff and I wasn't like, like I had my Barbie doll time and that kind of stuff, but it was also like a lot of like learning about the world and learning about how to like stand on my own two feet. And that comes back to like adulting and how you're saying like independence is so important, you know what I mean? Absolutely. I wanted you to learn how to find your own way in this world, how to find your own game, how to fish and uh, to make your own way in this world and have the strength to uh, to deal with all the things that you're going to need to and anybody's going to need to. Um, another thing I want to talk about is obviously we have a really close relationship, a really close mother-daughter bond and I know that you've supported me as a young woman through my entire life and you continue to support me. I just wanted to know from your opinion how you support a woman and why it is so important do you think for women to support other women? Throughout my career I've been both lucky and unlucky. I've met really great women and I'm surrounded by a tribe that I have that, that push me up and I push them up and together we go further. I've also met the opposite and that's just such a negative experience. It doesn't benefit anybody and it only makes the world a worse place. But if we can put our skills together, put our heads together and help each other get further, we're going to be so much further ahead. And it's opening doors for each other and mentoring each other, championing each other. The, the benefit of that is it's just exponential. I tell you a lot because I'm really close to you, right? And I don't know, sometimes I wonder if I tell you too much or too little. So what do you think is the line between when I tell you way too much about my personal life and you're just like, I don't want to know, just grow up type of thing? What type of open relationship that we have that's that is unique to us and it may not work for everybody but in our situation I'm good with that because I want to know what's going on in your life and I can accept that. Being that you've passed your teenage years what would you tell your teenage self? You know what it's kind of a conundrum my advice because on one hand I was a really big planner and I planned out my life and in some ways I wished I was more spontaneous and traveled more which I'm kind of making up for now um, but it would have been a bit more it would have been a bit more balanced if I'd done it all along instead of being so responsible all the time so it's a fine balance between responsibility and also having fun 